Okay, guys, so welcome to Archland. So this is not a summoning video. I'd like to just to point out, since we're nearing um, January 18th, when we're getting Susan, Susie, and Valak, we will be needing a lot of summoning currency. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have saved enough, but as you can see with mine, I only have these. <laughs> Probably going to do some purchase tomorrow, depending on how my summoning goes. But that is not the point of this video. I just want to show you guys on how to farm your gems here. And um, not so much farming for this currency, the keys to heaven. Keys to heaven are usually in some of the content for... Um, let me just go out a bit. So Promised Land, you can generate keys to heaven here, uh, especially for the barracks, because there there might be some of the what do you call this the uh, missions there for the dispatch that would generate keys to heaven. Some are usually or most are usually in special missions. If you guys um, haven't uh, you know haven't played Mercenary Journey, it's actually over already. And the next one that's going to be finishing is this one. So this is also a good um, source for the keys to heaven. But more or less, the keys to heaven can't be farmed literally. They they pop out during what they call this during events during random content within the game they sometimes pop out within the story so i'm going to talk about how to farm your gems here so your gems it takes around 88 for one summon so you need 880 for 10 summons okay so we're gonna be doing to we're gonna be going over the obvious here in terms of what you can farm daily okay so not this one for daily i'm gonna be going with your daily login your daily login unfortunately only gives you 30. that's 30 for the whole month okay so there you go for daily training this is your daily training. You'll be getting 15 here when you complete all of the daily missions. Then you have 5 here. So this one, uh, the privilege payback. This I bought from the store. This you will receive every, um, every day for 30 days. I'll show you the package later on how I got this. But again, um, this regularly drops only 5 plus 15 here, so that's 20. So daily login, daily log plus daily training, you will only get a total of 600. That is how you farm monthly. So that's very small. Okay, so 630. 630. So daily training, 600. So 20 times 30, 600, plus the 30 for the daily log. So there you go. Um... The other sources, guys, that I am going to remind you is the special missions here. If um, if you do have some special missions uh, that uh, if you see those special missions, please do work on these because this gives you a lot. Um, you have 50 here that I have received recently and your mission challenge here. Again, uh, you have your gems here. So special missions, if they are, you know, putting out content, please do finish them. They are a lot of help, so please do. Also, it's going to be the event here. So during the hero experience, if you do finish um, for each banner, there's a hero experience. You'll be getting 20 there each. So also do that. If you can't find it there, might as well go to the promised land as well. I think I have one more. You go to the training grounds and this one. So all of um, the banners are here. I think I finished all except this one. Can't seem to finish this. I don't know why. So um, finish everything. Clear it out so that you can farm your gems. Um, also... Make sure that you let's go back to adventure. Make sure that you clear sub story. Some of these content require um, drop gems. Um, I, I, 
I don't want to, you know, uh, consume that bread of mine. So, um, sub story, I'm sure I've checked. Um, some of unexpected uh, meeting. You can also farm gems here depending on the content. So, let's uh, try this one. Okay, none. But sometimes it pops out as gems. Uh, what else? Here experience sub story. Promised land tasks. So let's go back. So promised land tasks. What I mean is here. So this also gives you gems. If you, you know, this is, you know, you can farm this daily. As long as you, you can complete these, you can farm your gems here. Uh, what else? And also in the main story, of course. So if you move through the main story, let's move to the main story here. And let's see the rewards. Let's just skip this one. So there are no, you know, there are no uh, indication of the rewards here. But uh, usually for the main story, let's just go back to the main menu. Okay, so main story, definitely it gives you um, gems as well. And uh, if you're here, all of these, all of these content for all the first clears drop you gems. Okay, only first clears. Take note. You cannot farm these um, infinitely, but first clears um, give you gems. So again, leveling up is crucial. Uh, also for special, this one, this one drops you gems as well. So all of the content in secrets drops you gems first clear. Dimensions um, also drops you gems for the first clear. So again, you have to clear content for you to generate a lot of summoning currency. A dog's knife as well. Um, this drops you gems. Let's go here. Um, I haven't f cleared some because I'm low level. So here, first clear as well. So that's it. So far, that those are, you know, the, the content that I see that can generate you gems. If I'm wrong, please do comment down and tell me where you can get more gems for us to summon. Okay, so onward to the shop. Let's say, okay, so first and foremost, uh, paid currency for those who are willing to spend. The first part was for those who are free to play. The next part is best value for the store, just in case you want to spend. This one for the log, this is roughly, you only have roughly how many here? These have a lot of summoning. Oh, if, if you click on activate, this you will receive. So, seven, key, uh, four key to heaven, diamonds 200. This is around $10. If you want to buy these, these is, th this is $10 more or less. And um, you're not only buying gems here. There are a lot of things here that you get for the whole month. I think this is worth, you know, your purchase because it's spread out for the whole month. You'll be needing resources as well. You need runes. You need that magic powder. Unfortunately, I can't reach this one, this part. So it's okay. So log is a, you know, is one of the best values. So if you can, if you can, it's actually termed as uh, the battle pass. So if you get the battle pass, it's good value at $10 more or less. That's for the whole month. Then let's go to the shop. Um, pre-rog. This one is one of the best values that I have seen. So blessing. So thirty work days. Immediately you're gonna get one fifty diamonds or gems. Every day you get fifty acquisition of diamonds. As you can see there, um, in my daily training, it's actually here. So this is this is the fifty. This is where the 50 came from. This is not actually in your default daily missions. This is from the pre-rog, as you can see here. So this one, this is also good. This is of good value if you want to spend 
Um, this is actually of best value, the, um, the 6,000 KRW. This is valued at $5. So this is for the whole month. So I have 25 days left. You can um, subscribe in advance. Then the other ones, I would suggest the pre-roll, by the way. If, if you're looking for the cheapest entry to getting gems, this is the best. This is $5. So again, moving on to the package. This this one is a Dia supply. This is actually I would suggest you purchase the seven days if you're willing to purchase this. The Dia purchase this is roughly seven dollars for seven days. Okay. So if you want to renew, you can just renew each week. So this is um, I think um, second best of uh, the pre-rog okay so what else if you're in the market for for buying um a uh, key to heaven so this one is also good value um this one is roughly around let's say uh five to six dollars no 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 it's not five to six this is 20. Okay. So this one is going to be $20. Although this is more expensive, but again, this gives you the key to heaven. So also please um, buy the seven days because it's on a discounted price rather than buying it on a daily. So this is the most expensive pack that they have. This is roughly at twenty dollars but depends on you depends on your budget so pre-rog is is number one probably your battle pass is the second then your dia purchase which is this one is the third priority okay you got that so pre-rog it's here then your battle pass is here this is the second value of great value even though it's the it's not uh, all gems then the last one uh, would be this one, the Dia Supply. The, the fourth one would be Heavenly Support Package. Again, buy weekly because it's cheaper and that's it. As far as charging is concerned, as you can see here, I, I bought almost all already because it's it was actually of great value. As long as it's doubled. The first purchase is double like this one. So the second one would no longer be a double value. It's actually just an additional small value here. But if you purchase these for the first time, these are of great value as well. Okay, so that is it. So gems really hard to farm. They're going to be farmed through events um, and all of the content that I mentioned. So again, guys, if you're looking to, you know, to summon well for the next two weeks for the two new banners coming from Valak and from Susie and Susan, then you have to do or farm those content. You cannot really just enter content and get gems. So you just have to play clear content for the first time. Then hopefully you could save up and get some more. Or if you have extra, you know, extra budget, then you could go for the packs that I mentioned. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.